Let's get into it. I spoke with uh, students and parents outside the school this morning, and the parents I spoke with were extremely frustrated because they had to leave work two days in a row to come here and get their children. And the students I spoke with were quite blunt in their assessment of the situation. And they feel their school is being targeted because of a single teacher. For the second day in a row, students were told to evacuate Nora Francis Henderson Secondary School on Upper Sherman Avenue in Hamilton. Really frustrating. I can't pursue my education because <clears throat> of someone who makes dumb bomb threats or whatever. Yeah, like we're missing out on school. I have tests. I have stuff to study for. Like it's kind of affecting my education. The bomb threats don't just affect the students and staff inside the school. I'm very concerned. I've had to leave work two days in a row to pick my son up and I'm concerned for his safety. I'm, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's, it's scary. It's really hard. You want to go home then? It's very concerning because we don't know if it's real or if it's just students trying to get out of school, but it is putting a lot of stress on my son. He has autism. Students we spoke with outside say their school is being targeted because of one teacher. The teacher worked at an Oakville school last year and sparked an international debate over dress code policies and human rights. This is because of the one teacher? And personally, I, I mean, she's been respectful, which is like fine. It's like, I, I think that's good, but I feel like maybe he shouldn't be teaching if this is going to happen to every school that he goes to. Cause we're missing out on school. This is the second day in a row. If it's going to continue happening, get rid of the teacher. Like, it's not really, te it's a second school that it's happened to. And like, I just think it's stupid. I just think it's stupid. I had fears that this was going to happen, and unfortunately it has happened, and I'm really not pleased with it at all. Like yesterday, the school was emailed early this morning, and the teacher at the center of the controversy was named in the threat. Police cleared the school, and students were allowed to return at around 10.30, but by that time, many of them had left. Uh, bomb threats did occur in Halton uh, end of last year as well. Our detectives have been in contact with uh, detectives there on uh, how they uh, investigated and how they moved forward uh, as these bomb threats were coming in. And I also reached out to the Hamilton Wentworth District School Board, but nobody would talk to me. I was told that any new information for students, teachers, and parents would be posted online. Tess, back to you. Well... Isn't that important? And why again, as I did my other video about this, why is this person coming to Hamilton, Ontario? And again, the main reason why, because Hamilton, Ontario is a sanctuary city. And there is nothing they can do about it. Because Hamilton has no right to refuse anyone. So of course, if they don't, and of course, Hamilton is stuck with a male pretending he is a female. And as the little kid said, this, this guy is nice. Well, as nice as it is, it's also embarrassing. When will the Board of Education, instead of protecting pedophilers like they do from teachers coming after students, We've seen all the charges across there as we have the Union QP protecting all of these pedophilers like the governments do. Is this going to continue? Absolutely. This is only going to get worse here in Hamilton, Ontario because this is what they're all about here. And take my word on it, it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. Is Hamilton stuck with it? Well, they sure are. They are really stuck with it. Is, are they going to do much about it? No. Because you heard Justin Trudeau. You heard all the pride people come out here and say that children who are transgender have a right. They don't have any of these children being shown now. Like I said, across Canada, there's, there's not a hundred of them. As you showed in my old video, we had uh, Justin Trudeau invite Zelensky here, turning around and giving him $650 million to $750 million of the taxpayers' money, telling us all that the Canadian people are behind Ukraine. Well, kind of have a bare difference of all that, too. And uh, I guess we're going to have to get into this a little bit. There he is, there he is, Zelensky. Go home! 
As you can see from looking at that, that all the Canadian people are behind the Ukraine president. Um, then again, we have Trudeau again with the Indian president coming out there. As I showed in my last video, the prime minister doing story hour again, lion, where I show that the person they're claiming that the president from India has ties with was a shootout with the mobsters from India. So what is Trudeau going to do about this? Nothing. They're going to try and make it go away like it never happened or CBC News and all the rest. How much more embarrassing could this get as they're all thinking that everybody hates the Russia president the Russia president should go down for crimes and war crimes. He should have people have him under arrest. Yeah. As you're worth over almost $600 billion because none of the money you gave went to anywhere else. You haven't shown one dime. Just like Trudeau stealing all those billions of dollars no money has been showing for it over the pandemic, over anything. Well, we're just giving over chains that are being made in England, blah, blah, blah. That's wonderful. So you think it's going to continue for another three years to two years? How long do you think it takes to make a tank out here? Do you think it takes five minutes? This is all just ridiculous that our Canadian government wants us to believe all this. Um, I don't know what more to say about all this nonsense as all this garbage is coming out and we're supposed to respect our politicians. We're supposed to respect our media. We're supposed to respect our teachers who have been found guilty of touching children. We're supposed to respect and respect everyone out here who they tell us to but they have no respect for children, no respect for people, none for their lives. They call us consumers for a reason. I think I've said enough in the last several days. There's nothing more I could say to let people know how corrupt this really is with our government. And we have to have an election very soon. And people are going, it's all a fraud anyways. Well, remember how Donald Trump got in? We have to do the same. And let's remember, if we took away elector votes, we took in mail-in ballots, none of these people would be elected today. It is a fraud. But to show that fraud, we have to do several things coming up, and they won't be able to do it. Take my word on it. I've been doing this for 23 years against this government to 25 now. I haven't stopped, and I don't think I ever will. This government is guilty of government collusion, crimes against humanity, and so much more. 